Welcome everyone to today's video. As we all know, ultraviolet rays come from the sun, and there is a special layer that protects us from these harmful rays, called the ozone layer. Without this layer, the very existence of life on Earth could be in danger. However, with changing times, the excessive use of technology and chemicals has caused severe damage to the ozone layer. Its thickness is gradually decreasing, which is a serious matter of concern for all of us. That is why you should not miss today's video. In this video, we will talk about the ozone layer, what is it, why is it important for our lives, and also learn about World Ozone Day, when is it observed, why is it observed, and how can we all contribute to repairing the hole in the ozone layer. So, let's start today's video. First, let us talk about, what is ozone actually? Ozone is a gas made up of three atoms of oxygen, and its chemical formula, is O3. This gas is found in the stratosphere of the Earth's atmosphere, which is located about 10 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Ozone forms a protective layer around the Earth, which is why it is called the ozone layer, or the Earth's protective shield. It protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. If this layer did not exist, these rays would directly fall on the Earth, badly affecting our skin and eyes. This could lead to skin cancer, cataracts, and many other health-related problems. Not only this, but ozone depletion can also harm animals, plants, crops, and marine life. Do you know, that today a large hole can be seen in the ozone layer? This is because, over the past few years, we have used, ODS so extensively, that they have caused severe damage to the ozone layer. ODS means, ozone depleting substances such as, Chlorofluorocarbons. Hydrochlorofluorocarbons. Hydrofluorocarbons. Halons. Carbon tetrachloride. Methyl chloroform. Methyl bromide. And several other harmful chemicals. These substances were once commonly used in refrigerators, air conditioners, hairsprays, and foam products. However, their use has now been banned in many countries, since ODS are the main cause of ozone layer depletion. Still, industrial emissions, air pollution, and some chemicals continue to damage the ozone layer. When these gases reach the atmosphere, they react with ozone molecules and destroy them. Because of this, the thickness of the ozone layer is decreasing. And today we can clearly see a large hole over Antarctica. Now a question arises, why did the hole in the ozone layer form specifically over Antarctica? The answer is, that the biggest reason for the hole above Antarctica, is its extremely cold environment. In such low temperatures, polar stratospheric clouds form in the upper atmosphere. On the surface of these clouds, Harmful chemicals such as chlorine and bromine released from CFCs accumulate and become active. These chemicals then break down a large number of ozone molecules. Along with this, a polar vortex forms over Antarctica, a strong circular wind current that traps air and chemicals within that region. As a result, those gases remain concentrated over Antarctica, instead of spreading elsewhere, continuing to damage the ozone layer in that specific area. The good news, however, is that because of global efforts like the Montreal Protocol, the condition of the ozone layer is showing signs of recovery. According to scientists, if the use of ozone depleting substances is further reduced, or completely stopped, the ozone layer over Antarctica could return to normal by around 2050 to 2060. But for this to happen, spreading awareness among people is very important. 
That is why, with the purpose of raising awareness about the ozone layer, World Ozone Day is observed across the globe on the 16th of September every year. On this day, awareness is spread among children as well as adults through various activities and programs, so that people avoid actions, or the use of chemicals, that can harm the ozone layer. Now let us talk about the history of this day. Between the 1970s and 1980s, scientists observed that some chemical gases we were using, such as chlorofluorocarbons, and halons, were slowly destroying the ozone layer. But in 1985, when the discovery was made, and a massive hole was found over Antarctica, it shocked the entire world. This was not just a discovery, but a warning for all of us, that if we did not take the right steps in time, and stop the use of ozone depleting substances, the future of coming generations could be at risk. Understanding this seriousness, the Montreal Protocol Agreement was adopted in 1987. So, what exactly is the Montreal Protocol? The Montreal Protocol is an international agreement, that was adopted in 1987, and formally came into force in 1989. Its main objective was to gradually phase out the production and use of ozone depleting substances. It is considered the most successful environmental agreement to date, because thanks to it, the condition of the ozone layer is improving today. In fact, due to this global effort, nearly 98% of ODS have been successfully eliminated worldwide. Now let us talk about, what should we do to protect the ozone layer from damage? Avoid the use of ozone depleting substances. Dispose of old electronic appliances properly. While buying new equipment, check for the label ozone friendly product. Avoid burning plastic waste. Use public transport as much as possible to reduce pollution. Prevent deforestation. Plant more and more trees. Save energy and increase the use of renewable energy sources. Promote organic farming to reduce the use of harmful chemicals. Encourage environment-friendly industries and technologies. Follow all rules and protocols related to the ozone layer, such as the Montreal Protocol. The ozone layer is the protective shield of our Earth and it is our responsibility to keep it safe. With this, we end today's video please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.